Welcome to the French Drainman channel. We did an underground downspout system for this homeowner. They did not manage your yard water very well. So the retaining wall, the staircase, the brick pavers, everything is a tear out at this point. It's an R&R. &R. They asked us to come up with a really great design and they want to have us completely restore their home. Our brother company, Sherwood Landscape Construction, is going to do the installation. The designer's name is Scott Michael Cherry. This is a beautiful 3D design of the home. At the end, we are going to show you the home and the downspout system that they had that did all the damage. Those retaining walls, they're engineered. The drainage system behind these three retaining walls will preserve them and they'll stand the test of time. We are yard drainage contractors. We're installing underground drainage system. We're burying downspouts. There's a lot of tricks and tips and things you got to know when you lay out a system. I'm going to go over a couple right now. Hopefully it helps out the DIY guy. And if you're looking for this service, give us a call. We're going to design a system for you. Now the homeowner, due to budgetary restraints, wanted to Y this downspout into this downspout. Wasn't crazy about it. During a hard rain, there's a lot of sheet water coming off this roof. Not to mention the second story downspout goes, all that second story water is exiting through that gutter trough. So this downspout has already so much water that it's responsible for. It's just ridiculous. During moderate rains, you're gonna get away with this kind of stuff, but if you don't use certain tricks and just, I'll, I'll give you a few pointers right now on how we're gonna make this work for the homeowner. One pipe for these two downspouts to take care of two stories of water over in this trough, and then all that flat rooftop, all that sheet water during a hard downpouring rain. So when those gutter troughs are full of water, this is the inside of a gutter trough. That's it, right there. That is it. So you're asking all that water. When this fills up during an extreme downpour, and they do, and they will, this no longer can vent. It's going to be just full of water. This trough is going to be full of water. So we want to move this water as fast as we possibly can. So here's a trick that we use. We vent the downspout here. This works really, really amazing. You're going to pick up a lot more speed. Velocity is key. Velocity is what you're after. It's a gravity-powered system. When the water falls off the roof down into this underground drainage system, you don't want to lose the velocity that you have picked up. You don't want to lose it to a poorly vented system. You don't want to lose it to a pipe that... This particular technique that we're using, you don't want to use a single wall corrugated pipe. You want to use dual wall. And the difference is, there's your single wall. It's, you can see how it's got the valleys inside it. You'll lose velocity due to those valleys. On a short run or a run with a lot of pitch, it don't matter. They work great. But we have a long run. So we're going with the smooth wall, corrugated on the outside, Smooth on the inside, this is dual wall. So that combined it with the venting. And when you vent this, I know that the NDS, they fit in these Ys and that's what we're using. You know, for a schedule 40 system, PVC schedule 40, like an industrial system, I'll use the NDS, they do fit better, but for a corrugated Y, I like the polylock. The polylock snaps in here, fits really, really nice. 
that is a great way to vent a downspout system. This is a great way to combine downspouts and move the amount of water necessary to prevent it from backing up up top at the roof and then pouring over, causing all kinds of, kinds of damage. Matter of fact, to show you what it was doing, here's a failed retaining wall. Now, there's gonna be thousands and thousands of dollars to make this right. But first we had to correct the drainage. For underground drainage systems in southeastern Michigan, North Macomb County, North Oakland County, give us a call.